how are we doing today I am happy can you tell that I'm happy yes I'm happy I'm happy because I have another day of life I'm happy because God is still God he's still good he's still awesome he's my father he's my daddy he's my best friend he's my everything that's what makes me happy it's not it's not um other people it's not things nothing like that it's the mere fact that God is still God and he loves me that makes me happy and I think sometimes in life we lose sight of the bigger picture of why we are here on this earth so when that happens we put too much confidence in things and we put too much confidence in people as well don't get me wrong I'm not saying that you shouldn't be confident with those you know who are around you who are in your sphere your friends family I'm not saying you shouldn't have confidence in them right when it comes to certain things yes definitely but just know that we are flawed as human beings and maybe just maybe you'll be disappointed you will get failures etc whatever the case may be so don't lose sight of the fact that God is the only one you can be a hundred percent confident in because his words are already set his words cannot change he is not a God who lies it's set with all of that being said in this life sometimes we lose sight of what the bigger picture is the bigger picture is not owning a home that's awesome everybody wants to own their ho their own home in in some way or the other right a vehicle getting a nice job getting a degree getting some things getting things getting married getting children whatever it may be a lot of people are focused on those things but that's not the bigger picture that's not what the bigger picture is your life should be one that seeks to emit what God is all about you should be seeking to live a life that is pleasing to God I'm not saying that God doesn't want you to have the house the car whatever the case may be God wants us to have different things right based on your relationship with God you'll know what and what he wants you to have and what he doesn't want you to have sometimes we ask him questions about these things and he doesn't answer us because it's not the right time right but sometimes we really do lose sight of why we're here and I believe that's why a lot of people who are wealthy, who are famous, they take their own lives because they've accumulated all these things and they're still empty. They've missed the bigger picture. The bigger picture is living for Jesus. That's what it's all about, living for Jesus having a life that is pleasing to Jesus I'm not saying you're going to be perfect none of us is perfect none of us we we all have a different level that we need to go to you understand we we all have there's always more that can be done no preacher no evangelist no no person who is in religious authority can say oh I've arrived no you've not arrived and they know some of them that they've not arrived right they need to continually seek god seek him seek him seek him seek his will look at what's distracting you in your life look at what doesn't really matter what cons consumes your time what are you spending time on what are you spending your efforts on what are you doing if it is that you should get the house, the car, the wife or the husband, the kids, the money, etc. Right now. If you are to get all of that right now. In your current state that you are in. Would you still be fulfilled? Some people may say yes. That's, that's what I want to be happy. But no. I can tell you. I mean I don't have all of those things yet but that's not going to make you happy because your happiness cannot be in things nor people 
Because if your happiness was dependent on people, each time somebody disappoints you, you just be a wreck. I know I've been there. I've been there. I used to have so much confidence in people. So trusting that when they disappointed me, I would just be crushed. And say, oh, I would have never done that. I would have never done this. But as you live, and you, as you live, you grow and you learn. And listen, it's no fault of these people. They're, they're flawed. Well, in some cases, you can say that some people really do some things and you have to wonder. But we have to remember that we're dealing with humans. We are flawed. And if they're not surrendered, or maybe in the process of being surrendered to God, you know, they are going to, to, to make mistakes. And even when you're surrendered, because of our human nature, somewhere along the line, we're going to slip up. That's why we need grace. I'm not saying that you should slip up and say, oh, I have grace. No, that now you'll be presumptuous. And that's not of God. That's a different case. But if you're really, really trying to live for God, do the things for God, and you stumble along the way, grace is there for you. God is not going to condemn you once you repent. You turn away and you say, God set me on my way again. Right? So... I just want to say to us quickly, in life, we have to not lose sight of the bigger picture. The bigger picture is not material gains, it's not relationships. Relationships are awesome, and when I say that, not just romantic. Overall, because we are people, people need people. You understand? But the bigger picture is all about God, living a life for God. Living a life surrendered to God. That's what it's all about. And I'm sorry if you're not doing that. I don't know what you're doing. I've been there. So, yeah, hey. I've been there where I thought life was what I, I thought it was about, you know. But God had to remind me. When he cornered me, he reminded me that, nope. And that's the happiest I've been. And it's, it has not been easy. We all have our little hiccups, our little, our little um, flaws, our habits and so forth. But I'm dependent on God to help me every step of the way. So the bigger picture, my people, is living a life for God. Living a life surrendered to God. Getting rid of things that are pulling you away. Things that are distracting you. Things that are just not beneficial to your life. As it relates to living for the Almighty, Jesus Christ. And trust me, it's the most rewarding thing ever. So ignore the noise of the world. Ignore the noise of your own mind. And say today, God, I don't want material things to satisfy me. I don't want physical relationships to satisfy me. If it's not kingdom in any way if it's not a part of your your will if it's not a part of your kingdom principles god i don't want it because i just want to be a part of the bigger picture i want to see the bigger picture i want to have tunnel vision i want to be focused lord and if i do slip along the way mighty god just help me up because i just want to press forward towards that mark because nothing nothing is worth losing your soul Nothing is worth going to hell for. No one is worth it either. So I think we should all take an inventory. Check our lives to see what is happening. What am I doing wrong? Where am I falling short? And say, God, help me. Because I want to see a bigger picture. I do not want my mind to be so closed off that I'm in a little box by myself. I was thinking about me, me, me. Um, what I can get from the world, um, what, how, how much I can be a part of the world but not really be a part of the world and still be for God, you know, that sort of attitude. We need to take an inventory and see what we are doing, what we are doing, what we are focused on, what's occupying our time, our time what, what we are feeding, what we are fertilizing and say, God, help me. Help me because if I'm not living for you, Life is not worth living. And if you are at that stage in your life and you're so confused, you're like, God, what am I doing? What's happening? I have all these things, but I'm still not happy. 
Yeah, go to daddy. He has all the answers, trust me. As a matter of fact, living for him is the bigger picture and he's the photographer. Be blessed. Take care.